Hello guys, I'm so excited to do this review today, talking about the brand new album coming from Ducey Oye Khan, titled Kingdom Come. Now the album has 21 tracks, <laughs> and I've been asking myself, 21 tracks, like seriously? <laughs> Alright, but the album is loaded, it's a worship experience album, and the album was recorded live. Very, very, very impressive for a Nigerian recording. All right, now the song has 21 songs, like I said earlier, and uh, God help me and actually give me the time to actually run through everything. Now let's talk about the first song. The first song is titled God. It's a rock inspired song. It sounds like something you probably heard in the 80s, but very, very, very dope song. What a way to introduce the album. Really, really dope, I must say. The second song on the album is actually a song we've already heard before. It, the song is titled Audience of One and Amazing. I mean, it's really, really awesome how the songs vibe together. Again, the song sounds like a rock song, you know, with 80s vibe with the saints and all of that. And I think it's really, really great. And there was a part thing of the, doing the song where they went into amazing. I mean, and it's really, really beautiful and really, really awesome. And talk about the chant at the ending of the song. Wow, that the harmonies with the chant really took the song to another level. And I kind of liked it because it was really, really good. All right, now on the third song, you have a song titled We Worship You. And the song is a piano-driven ballad and it is awesome. And talk about the choir's vocals during the part of the song. It was really, really beautiful. I felt it was great. This album is so good, so enjoy it down with this album. All right, track four is titled I Proclaim and it is one of my favorite songs on the album because it's so good. It's got that rock vibe going to it. You know, I talk about that on this album. I mean, and that 80s vibe of music, it's pretty, pretty good, trust me. Are going to love it. And talking about I Proclaim is a song of declaration of God's mercy. And you know, I proclaim that you are the one making me strong, you're the one showing me mercy. Simple, simple song and very, very beautiful. All right, now to the fifth song, one of Ozzy, my favorite songs on the album. Uh, it's titled If All I Can Say Is Jesus, and this is the remix. Now, this is the song that, you know, introduced me to the ministry of Adutsi uh, Onyeko, and I'm so, so glad that, you know, he got to do the song on the album again, featuring an American singer, and it's perfect. I mean, if all I say is Jesus, Jesus, that's more than enough. <laughs> there is no way you're going to sing that song that it's not going to get me excited. So the song is pretty, pretty dope and exciting. All right, now moving to the next song. It's titled Most High. It's a song of worship. I mean, you're really going to worship God on this song. And uh, the next track titled Ageless. Now, this song sounds a little bit South African, but it's a beautiful, beautiful song talking about how ageless our God is. Now, moving to one of my favorite songs on the album, talking about Imole Day. I mean, talking about the fact that light and darkness do not comprehend. The darkness has to give way for the light. And that's a very, very good song. And I love the way, you know, he coordinated everything about the song. So beautiful. The chorus is in Yoruba. So, Imole Deo Okuku Parada. Okay, then on the next track, we have one of my favorite songs on the album. It's titled uh, Song of Angels. Now, Song of Angels is a song that talks about speaking in tongues. And I mean, I love the Yoruba folk song he added to me. I mean, as in, what's that Yoruba folk song again? I mean, that took the song to the next level. Pretty, pretty exciting. I mean, you need to get this album. It's really loaded. I mean, 21 songs. It's very rare to make an album, you know, with about 21 songs and, you know, patiently listen to all of the songs. Guys, you need to support this man. I mean, his ministry is awesome. All right, the next song is titled Hallelujah. It's a call and response song. The song is okay, so let's just look at the next song, which happens to be my favorite on the album, titled No Words. There are no words to describe the song. The song is amazing. It's simply amazing. I mean, 
How, where do I start? I mean, no words. So, you know, when you are in the presence of God, I mean, you forget everything else, a part of the presence of God is noise. That's what the song talks about. And the vocals, my God, the background vocals killed the song. This song is amazing. I mean, it's going to be the most listened to song from me on this album. And I think you guys should go out and support this album because I think it is amazing. Now, what's my favorite part of the song again? Let me just uh, go through some of the things I jotted down. I mean, it says, um, okay, talking about no words. I mean, everything else is noise. I think that's just the key thing that I picked from the, the song. All right, the next song is titled Yahweh. Of course, Yahweh was one of the songs on the other album, and uh, he actually had, I mean, Magno Bassi on the song. The song is okay. That's what I'm going to say about the song. The next song is also another standout on this album titled Breathe. Now, this is a standout track, and it says, Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. I mean, who doesn't want the breath of God on his or our life? This song is amazing. I mean, it's amazing. I remember when we were playing the song, just a little clip on our Instagram, and a lot of people were talking about the song. There was a lot of vibe about the song. It's a beautiful song, trust me. This album is a good getter. Then one of my, I mean, this album is rooted. Please go buy this album. Go buy the album Kingdom Come from Doomsi. You can go buy this album. This album is fabulous. Now another song I love on this album is Open Up. I mean, it, 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 it just reminds me of that scripture in the Bible that says, uh, "Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters." And you know when he says, "Channels of my spirit, open up." I mean, I feel something. This song is spiritual. This song is new. Alright, another song on the album is titled Holy, and on the song Holy, it talks about uh, I can see the glory of God fall over, and of course the glory of God everywhere. And the second to the last uh, song on the album says you deserve it, and of course the song is guitar driven. It talks about dedicating his life to serve God, and that God deserves his service, and of course also our service too. It's a pretty dope song. Then the last song I will follow, you know, also, you know, piano driven uh, led song and talks about following God till the end of time. Basically, this album is five out of five for me. I give it five stars because it is not easy to put 21 songs in an album and, you know, I mean, some people are just like, next track, next track, next track. But if you are a worshiper and you like how rock music sounds, definitely. This album is for you, so it's definitely a keeper. So be sure to download the album and support gospel music today. My name is Mono. Be sure to subscribe on this channel for great content right here on the Gospel Fusion Show. I'll see you on my next review, my next interview, or the next breaking news in the gospel music industry. Thanks for watching.